Hello, hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're all doing well here. Let's see if I can find myself. Huh. You know, this is always kind of a give or take sort of a thing. Sometimes I find myself right away. Sometimes I'm lost forever. So we're going to take a look at a few things here. That I'm excited to show you guys about. Say hello when you jump on. All right, it looks like I've managed to get myself on all right. Yay. So tell me hello when you guys hop on. give everybody a few minutes. I'm kind of straight up on four o'clock. I'm going to give people a few minutes to hop on. Hey, Miss Crystal, how are you doing today? So I wanted to share, I know the seasons are changing across the way, everywhere. We're finally starting to see some color changes. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Crystal. And I just wanted to remind you guys that um, Stamping Up has just launched their product line for scrapbooking that's similar to Close to My Hearts. And they have the workshop kits, just like we did. They have a few more things in these than what... Um, They've done them a little bit differently. I don't want to say like a huge amount of difference, but I really like all three of these layouts. Plus, I have Chris's workshop, and I'm going to cut Chris's workshop. I just really like what that um, she did with this. And the paper is super cute. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Paper is super cute. Here's a nice, you know, cardstock quality stickers. They do have the um, double-sided paper. I thought this was bird feet, honestly, bird tracks, but it looks like it's branches. <laughs> then we have a few. Um, I really like this paper. Talk about totally being fall. Good evening. It definitely is for you guys. It's like four in the afternoon here, but headed there. This animal paper is so cute. I got a nephew coming um, sometime between the end of October, beginning of November. So how perfect is that? And these are extra pages that are in here. So the ones that are not double-sided are actually designed to be your base pages, which is kind of unique or to have some other part in this. We have similar uh, of the die cuts, and I love these die cuts, and they have the wood grain through them. They're so pretty. Lots of punch outs. I don't want to take those out because they just come apart when you take that out. And cardstock for bases. But it is time, yay, for all of us, because I was so excited to start to see red in our drive. Hi, Dai Dai. Hi, Maureen. So just a reminder that that's out there, and I have the one from Chris now. I'll get that um, shown up in the group so you can take a look at it. It's super cute. Totally liking it. What did I do this weekend? What did you all do this weekend? That's a question. Please love this um, video and share it out on your feed so that more people can find me. Um, now that I've had a couple months to kind of really take a look at, you know, the changes in my customer group and that from switching over, I am going to need to 
reach more people to replace um, the many people that were already involved with stamping up or have a stamping up rep. So please share this out and share me. Um, just finished working on Reindeer Days, a scrapbook for Christmas. And um, I did not care for the paper in the beginning. Um, I ended up kind of liking it after all. Uh, we do celebrate Christmas in our house. Awesome. I'm glad you went to Denise's crop. And these will be great to do. But I also like how, you know, the sweetest season of all, but the backside of this paper can be different, but you still have these. Now, these are Cricut Print and Cut, which is the file comes with the, um, the die design space file comes with the workshop directions. And um, all of these little sayings that are up here are that as well. They're print and cut. I love the deer page. Now, I have tons of pictures of deer from Montana that are just in our backyard. So I am going to actually print some of those pictures and put those in here. You spent the weekend. Ah, yes, I saw your um, your pictures of that Halloween bit. Totally neat. I sent an email out to you, Jenny, with the um, link to the YouTube video for the class. So you have that. You're so very merry. I love having nice titles that are easy to pop up. Thank you, Di. And then here's just kind of like our scrap pages. We were able to take leftovers and create this. These scallop pieces and the presents get cut from the print and cut. And that is the scrapbook workshop that we just finished. Um, we did Halloween spells, guys. So that one's done, but that's the Halloween, not Halloween, but I got, I got a Halloween one because there are some people who miss the Halloween. So let's talk about our birds. So I was super excited to get this box and I restrained myself. I started to open it and then I said, no, 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 no. And I think that it kind of goes along with the wintry top. Um, and this paper, which is the nests of winter. This has actually got some pretty designs on it. So I don't know 100% if that's true. So we're going to set those over there, but just in case they are. We're going to take a look at what's in this box and see what we can do. I kind of need to get some more Tombow down because I, I went through a lot of Tombow this weekend. Maureen, how was your weekend? All right, so we, it looks like we have some wide of that Terran tape. Here is our bird. Um, but this looks like an actual cardinal. It does not look like the chickadees on the front. I would call those chickadees. I don't know if they're chickadees, but they look like Carolina chickadees to me. Um, it says Christmas, happy holidays, joyful thoughts to you in the season. So that's really cute um, and has some of the berries and the bow. Hi, Sue. Um, I just got mine on Saturday die so they don't ship them out until i think the 15th i got a shaded spruce um dot which of course i don't have much of the many of these so it's always exciting to get the new colors well, let's open up our box i'm telling you guys it was really hard not to open this so here is that Miss Connie recovered from surgery doing some baking for church. Mmm, that's nice. Jeff made like 20 loaves of uh, banana bread. He likes to let those poor guys ripen up. All right, so here's what this looks like. It kind of would work with the colors from um, Nests of Winter. Just very pretty. You just got yours? Okay. So it sounds like they're starting to roll in. Die. Hi, Dina. How are you? I had to change my plans for last month's um, paper pumpkin because I did not, I wanted to make a layout with the um, parts of the paper pumpkin and then um, 
it was sold out like a split, like gone. And I was like, oh, well, that does not help me at all. All right, we have our dimensionals. We have some ribbon. Oh, well, these envelopes are pretty, you guys. Look at the um, gold or the green foiling on them. These are super pretty. So nothing on the inside of the envelopes this time, but you have a very cute piece here that may or may not be able to cut be cut to a card print if you wanted to without losing that green. But super cute refills must be, I love birds. So we go through that, we got our punch outs, we got our card bases, some more punch outs. A lot of time they're kind of sorted as they need to go on, but I'm not going to worry about that. So, oh, look at this, you guys. Mm. Well, this is going to be really fun to figure out what we're doing here. And some more of those. This is really good stuff. Keep your hands on that because that's fun. Oh, here, this is better. Now you can actually like see what the stamps are. This is a diagram that comes with each set that I've gotten so far. Um, you guys can kind of see what that says. And then your cardinal and then your joyful thoughts this season like the difference between the smaller print and the large bold print. I think that's very catchy to the eye. I know, right, Connie? Should I or should I not cut the card? So it looks like there are only two different types of cards in here. And I have these Mary tags. So referrals, if you refer people to me, these cute little tags that I have a, um, a bunch of these that I got to give out as thank yous for new referrals who join my group and become customers with me. So if you have folks that you want to refer, that's a great thing to do. All right, we saw that already, so here we go. Looks like card one and card two. Here are the belongings that go into each one of them. Yeah, I don't know. Trifolds are kind of a hard thing to cut. So let's make some cards. And I also have a bunch of stuff on the other side. So the first thing I like to do is find myself a tray and punch all this out. Thank you, Di, for sharing. I appreciate it. You're at Crops. Oh, yeah. never mind. You're with Tony anyway. <laughs> I love you too, Di Di. So these tags have that um, green foil on there. It's so nice and pretty, you guys. Christmassy, but not Christmassy, if that makes sense. Like you could change the sentiments in this and just make it a winter card to send out. You accept the challenge to cut it up or to not cut it up. I don't know. This is tough, my friend. Make sure these are all the same. I like to kind of wiggle these back and forth by wiggling the paper. Has anybody heard from Miriam lately? Just out of curiosity, Miriam Radcliffe. I haven't seen her on for a long time. I need to message her and find, make sure she and her family are good. They are definitely going to be cut. <laughs> well, I don't want to cut mine this go around, but I definitely want, I don't know if I should just order two paper pumpkins because I seem to not be able to get the refills. It's just kind of not mine. So then you have all of this negative image, which you could use as stencils if you wanted to. I do wonder if that, no. So this cardinal is smaller than the punch out cardinal. In case anybody wants to know. This is one of our cards and that's card number one. And this 
is card number two, this part right here. And they're all trifolds, you guys. All right, so let's put together a card as designed. And of course, then we'll start messing around with the not as designed. Hmm. I'm in trouble, guys. I'm, I have all these Tombos, but I have like none that are open. Hmm. We'll hang on to this for the one. I don't think I've opened it yet. And just going to kind of pre-crease this just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to crease with this piece coming out in the middle. That makes it a little harder to uh, get it down. I've already worn the Stampin' Up piece off. And we're going to punch this piece out. Well, I think... Um, I think... You're going to have some nice pieces to play with because I don't see this being used anywhere. So that could be very advantageous, if you know what I mean. I still have to finish last month's because my plan got disrupted. So I didn't finish what I was doing. Shaded spruce. block is actually a really good size it's a like a two and a half by two and a half it's a really good little size okay I set the stamps down somewhere you guys there they are you're gonna keep hang on to yours until the next crop got it makes sense so they start off with having you stamp a little bit of the um, bows around this. I want to close this up. Remember, you can change this to any direction that you want, but they have it designed like this. Which, hmm. And they're using Merry Christmas for the sentiment. Which crop are you going to go to next? Um, the nuts to our friend Connie. Okay, that's on good enough to be able to use it. So Maureen did that. Connie, did you do anything this weekend or did you work? I don't know if you saw I asked that question a little bit earlier. Okay, we're just going to use this stamp. Make sure you season your stamps. And... I know I don't open these all the way, but I really hate getting the ink on my... Okay, that's nice. And this is just kind of sort of randomly stamped. I'm not, like, you know, I'm not super fond of doing it this way. This is kind of a tough one. Mainly because some of these go off in different directions. And it's not going to look really good if you do it. You're just adding a little bit of fun here. Okay. I feel like adding more than what they did on theirs. Just who I am. Probably to put too much on, but oh well. 
I've done that. I do, however, like this. Now I boo-booed here and got a little bit where I didn't want it. So I'm going to actually take my stand and cover that up. Boo-boo gun. Now, their ink takes a little bit longer to dry. So just kind of set that aside. Grab your Merry Christmas. You will be up at two for winter months. Yay. That's exciting. And I'm already wearing ink all over the place. Yeah. I sort of have a love-hate relationship with their ink pads. I'm really hoping that they do follow through. Isn't that cute, guys? Yeah. I really like the Merry Christmas. I'm just going to stamp up. I love clear stamps because you can see if you have them inked or not. This one stamps is nice and clean. Love it. I'll just do four of these really quick. I need to get out a wet wipe because I'm getting ink everywhere. Transfer ink. See? I guess you know I'm having a good time. I know. I think it's great. Connie's got a job that's either... 90 miles an hour or kind of laid back a little bit. Missed the bottom of that stamp. I said it's really kind of nice to be able to still have clear stamps. Okay, I'm gonna set those aside really quick. And I'm gonna just set this over the top of that. So here our card goes like this. And I guess when you open it up like this, guys, you can put whatever you want in there. I'm trying to think. I'm not totally sure why they made it a... So one, two, three, we did that. We did that. So there is our ribbon, you guys. Okay, I am gonna need to shut this so I don't wear it. Now we had that little pack of fun stuff and then there was the ribbon. And it says to use our tear and tape. Now, I will be super excited if the tear and tape works really well with this. Hi, Naomi. How are you? That's funny. I was just reading um, Thriving Thursday notes. Try and catch up. So you're going to grab this piece right here. And the, put your um, ribbon on the back of this and put this sentiment on top of that it a lot actually hmm I wish this was just a little bit longer crazy things that you think about it when you're making it Tasmanian devil of the sloth yes that you really are Connie because you guys go totally nuts in the beginning of Memorial Day and then Labor Day comes and you start to slow down now I always like glue dots, so I'm going to be curious to see how these are. The tear and tape, or tape and tear thing works. I'm going to put this on. So you have your little bit of peeking out there. The glass mat, oh. Is the glass mat to be continu discontinued? That would be very sad. I think it's a nice work surface. Um, now I got distracted. I learned something new that I didn't want to know. But I'm going to post these up. 
Is she still on? I don't know if she's still with us. She may have just seen me on and kind of hopped on and off. I can do that a lot. Earmark things to come back and watch later. Okay, so Merry Christmas gets. And it does not say to tape this down, so I'm intrigued by this whole thing. Yeah, this one you could definitely probably cut up and like have that whole back panel to do something with. Oh, I see. Just could be out of stock. There's a lot of things that are out of stock. Peppermints are out of stock again. I have a lot of people who are wanting peppermints. So this is the larger tree here. And it says to make sure that I don't put dots down on, if I turn it over like this, put the two dots on to here. Hmm. I don't know that I want to be able to shoot, guys. I don't know how I want to do this. Because it's acting like I put them on the two ends there. But those ends go on to the sides. So, there we go. I shall follow directions for once, Di. Let's see what we get. So this will save you guys sometimes for those of you guys who have boxes coming in the mail. And I, I was like so stoked to see this. I thought this was a great, great deal. And then this cute little bird goes on top of here and again gets dotted. So you're going to have a couple dimensions in here. layers if you will I'm trying to see if I'm supposed to it doesn't say to glue it down so I feel like I should glue this down and here is your card now the cardinal was and is my favorite bird on the east coast I do love it and then this is going to see I was afraid of that I put it where it said to put it, and now it's not going to open. So very carefully pull that up. There we go. So that's cute, guys. Look, it'll stand. Yep, stay on the frame. And so then it opens like this. I, I don't know. I mean, you could put this on a regular card and put this on the front of the card and just glue this down to have it be stable. But if you want it to be the fold out like this, I feel like you almost have to kind of leave it like that. Okay, so we have one done. Who's excited to get one of these in the mail? And again, here's another extra piece, Connie, so you can do some other things. Yeah, Jenny, I am totally, right now, I'm obsessed with kits. Um, because I think they're so easy and fun to do. And I like to just kind of sit down and get it done. So this tag is going to say, Thoughtful Season, or Thoughtful, um, and, oops, that's not right. Thoughtful, joyful thoughts to you this season goes on this. I think that's a wonderful sentiment. I do really like our blocks better, guys. Shh. Former CTMH blocks. These are stamping really nice and clean, you guys. It's um, really, really nice, actually. And the only stamping that's happening on this card is this right here. 
Now, because there is so little to play around with here, I am going to have to think about like what I would do with the other cards. And I'm not sure what I would do for scrapbooking with this since we're missing. But you never know. Pieces could be definitely used. Okay. This too gets a ribbon behind it. You do your little your tape and tear. This stuff is pretty sticky. I can't pronounce, but starts with an ephemera. Is that what you're talking about? With no stamping is using the ephemera packs? Yes, I agree. I just put together that there's a bunch of them that are out. Um, so I put together something for one of my other customers so that they wouldn't have to live without. All right, so putting our little tags back here, we need to have a sprig. Those big sprigs are for our um, cardinals. We have a little sprig here. And this is gonna be layers, guys, if you can see this. This is gonna be layers of birds. So this is kind of, I gets really kind of pretty. I would use the cards i think i think i would use the cards these punch outs would look really really pretty on a scrapbook page i don't know what type of uh so this is going to have the, the um foam tape on those pieces that we were talking about that are going to go on the edge of the frame it's important it is important to follow placement on what they're showing us here so that you can have it on the frame where you need to be so the trifle will open <laughs> took me a while and a lot of practice to say the word ephemera so I will um, if that makes you feel less conscious about it I mean I don't know Tape, tape, or oh, 3D foam tape these. Uh, and I've seen that word like around for lots and lots in the crafting world. Uh, Somerset Studios that comes out of um, Canada has been around for a long time and they produced a lot of really, really good um, stamper sampler, the um, take 10 books. If you, I mean, it was just really good stuff. You were supposed to do this first in case anybody is truly following the directions. This one gets two, two dots on it. And one is going to be up here, there. And the other one is going to be down here so that we get them on right. And then I'll give you guys two of these cards away and then we'll have an embellishment of some sort. I'll grab it out of the bag. So check this right away because you know our glue dots. They're not super friendly for coming on and off. They are okay for coming on and off this foil paper though. If it was regular paper, this would not be doing so well. So I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to put this down there and put that on top of that. Then I know it's going to work and then I'm going to find my cute little bird. That's why I had to have this set. They are super fun and cute cards. But, you know, this would be like one of those things that would be super easy to do with the grandkids. It really would be. And your girls, they're so creative. There you guys go. And this one, to me, kind of stands up, open a little bit better than the other one that you could open up and do things. But, yeah, I can definitely see cutting this up to some extent, except for you'd lose the tricard effect, which is really cute in these cards. Like, super cute. So I have to make sure that I'm online right away and snag me 
some cutie pies here. Now, they didn't have embellishments in this, but I grabbed these iridescent foil gems. I think that they're on the sales rack, guys, and I think they're still there. And they are not super expensive, which, of course, excites me. Um, add a little doodah ditty. Now, it's going to be protected because you have all of this on foam tape. And I would turn that bird around so it didn't cover this, not, or angle that bird a little differently. And I think I'm just going to put these down here. Dog hair over everything, guys. All right. So these two cards are going to be given away. And then something something out of my little pack of whatever or a cut up an embellish a brand new embellishment pack and send it yeah that's a little sample of our embellishments are really of good quality so i encourage let's do our one to 32 cards and a pack of embellishments to go out um everybody's happy mail i'm going to start working on getting that mailed out it's a little bit to mail like 40 packages out all at once i'm looking for my Giveaway bag. I know I have it in here somewhere. Snowflakes or flowers. Snowflakes or flowers could be either one for decorating your cards or for decorating, um, putting them into shaker cards. All right. I am ready when you all are. For anybody who wants to do my... Any takers up here? 17 for Sue, my first person up. Seven for Connie. Connie. There's a seven. Die, die. So please love this and share it out on your your page is there only three of you because it looks like three of you are going to pass and three of you are staying in uh, yeah so i think sue donnie and i you guys are all in and nobody got it right on the mark so what you get will be a surprise yeah sue connie and die and if you have um prizes coming in the mail because you won at our um, incentive trip celebration, then this card will get mailed or your embellishments will get mailed to you that way. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming to spend time with me and I will see you the next time.